My sister sent me a... I FaceTimed my sister yesterday and she sent me a video. I just opened it this morning and it's her crying that she misses me. How privileged we are to have those relationships. You have the capability to miss somebody or be missed. How loved do I feel but also... It gets me inside. had a bit of a change in our workout style, workout routine. It's kind of a change, but it's kind of the same. It kind of completely makes so much sense. But we've gone from like training CrossFit with like a heavy focus on Olympic lifting, but still like a workout, if not every day, then like at least four or five times a week with one day of like just solid recovery aerobic piece. Um, but always would be like within a gym setting, like on a ski erg, on an echo bike, on a rower, or then like movements but then transitioning from crossfit to the kind of like bodybuilding slash whatever we can get our hands on sort of workouts we then stopped doing the like aerobic stuff because we were often in gyms of no air con and it's just so hot and also in gyms that didn't facilitate that like they didn't have rowers or, or whatever and then when we got here we just decided we felt really unfit and we both just like craved that movement and then somehow we ended up doing some running and now we've kind of transitioned into this almost like hybrid training but I also don't want to label it that. It's just constant variation and the ability to vary our workouts and get the stimulus that we want and allow ourselves to to like pick and choose just not like push ourselves down such a narrow lane. So it means that some days we're going running in the morning and then strength training in the evening and other days we're doing strength training and ending our session with a running piece and some days like today we're just going to go for a run this morning and then just do some stretching afterwards and then other days is purely strength training. A bit of a speed session today. I'm by no means a runner, I'm by no means good at running but I hope over the next probably half a year like between now and December that it will be something I really enjoy doing and yeah anyway let's go do this. One down. So I think because I haven't been doing as much stretching recently, like as much as I used to, I always feel pretty tight and also like with the volume that we're doing when we train legs, it's always like high, so I get really tight really easily and then obviously need to go and sit down all day and edit, so I'm always like quite tight when I start off with, so I'm just gonna loosen up and then we'll go through my favourite stretches, no matter who you are or what sport you do or even if you don't do any sport. They've even got their own branded crockery and napkins. Mm. Okay, so we just got back from lunch because we're kind of on like a being sensible, health and financially wise, little word. What word am I looking for? Little hype? I suppose. We haven't been going out to dinner recently or food, but I was really feeling going out for like try or have been really keen to try some like proper like non-new food or perenican, perenican, perenican culture, which are like the original settlers here. This restaurant that I've been seeing from like every time 
we drive back from the city centre, we drive past it and it's called Nancy's Kitchen. And then when I went to look at how far away it was, it had like two and a half thousand views and it was very highly rated on Google. So I was like, we're gonna go there. It was really cute inside. Just place some work here. Very, very well run. You can tell it's been going for a while and they know exactly what they're doing. The decor was just really nice and they had like old newspaper clippings. And also the restaurant was established in 1999, which is the year I was born. And I have like a superstitious thing about 99. Like it's like, it's a good thing. So anyway, we ordered pie tea, is it called? Which are like the little top hats, which we've had something similar. I think they, the, the Indian kind that we had with our friends in Butterworth. They were the ones where they were like the crispy outer shell and then we poured a sour like juice on top. But these ones like kind of came already stuffed and filled and they were so delicious. The only way I can describe it is fresh and they just had like really nice coriander and the flavors in there, they were like kind of like sweet and sour. It was honestly, it just worked so well. Like what, what a cute little, little thing. I love it. I'm so gonna be trying to make them when we're back in the UK. It's like a little appetizer. <laughs> Um, and then we also tried the papaya, papaya. I don't even know how you say that, but I've been seeing it and knowing that I needed to try it, like I've never been somewhere that serves it. And it was so good. But the thing that kind of confuses me is I, I think they're like, as if you were to go to like, the only thing I can describe it as is like Subway or like a burrito and you get to choose your fillings. Is that right? Like if you went to an actual shop, but this was kind of just served as the one. And I don't even know what it was filled with, but it tastes like, um, like the hoisin duck you get from Chinese takeaway. But the actual dough pancake it was in itself was really nice like it was really soft and quite thick but not as like as tough as a wrap but not as like fluffy as a pancake it was oh, it was really good whatever that's made out of and definitely seen a shop on maps that have like the syrup papaya like to take away like you would a burrito and I definitely want to go there and try one of them and then Harry ordered a like it was like a sweet and sour pork dish he was he didn't have a shower after the gym so it was a bit hot and a bit sweaty and a bit hungry and a bit like not irritable but you know what I mean so he was just kind of like just get me some food it's good it was quite a, a fatty piece of pork but pork is fatty so maybe he should have just ordered the chicken it's a little bit sweet not sour barbecue I like that and then I ordered a Perenican curry and it smelled incredible like literally smelled like Christmas it was kind of like the all spice cinnamon, like star anise kind of smell. The only thing I would say is that, and I can't quite get my head around, is that so many places here serve their chicken stuff like on the bone, and most of mine was like bony chicken rather than much meat. Whereas I feel like in the UK, that's not an unusual thing to get. And it is always disappointing when you don't get like as much meat, but the flavor was still like great and super rich and really really lovely so i think it was a really positive experience for our first nonya cuisine and it was also really sweet because there was all of these ladies dressed up in the traditional outfits which our tour guide told us you can rent them and then people wear them for the day so i feel like they've probably they're probably here on holiday they rented them and they're wearing it or it's a friday and they're having a nice time i'm not really sure but they look really lovely so yeah uh a very positive experience for the first bit of Nomia cuisine. Um, and right now we are still toying with the idea of whether we extend this for another month into September or whether we're gonna go down somewhere else where we're thinking to go to Johor Brew because we haven't done it yet. And we do want to head over to Malaysia at some point, do like a little trip in and out. So we're kind of toying with that, but we're just waiting to hear how much the apartment is as we're quite picky with apartments as we're here for a month. Like we need good Wi-Fi, we want to feel at home, we want to feel clean. Like the biggest thing for me is feeling clean. What's ideal is to have a separate bedroom for your living space. It also like just allows us a bit of privacy from each other. So we're not always feeling like we're on top of each other. We love doing everything together, but it's natural so yeah we're just kind of waiting to hear back because the people that manage this place they also manage a new apartment block in Johor Bru so wait to hear back from them but I'm gonna get on start editing this vlog uh, and then we'll be later on <laughs>